today's episode of Driving with Ted, we are headed to a Black Friday. Ted's That's driving right. School dog. Ted's driving school. I'm gonna get it right. What? On Thanksgiving, there was no Chinese places open. Some of them were open, but only open to like seven. Liquor Nothing store by my house stayed open till eleven at night. Go old school, get some Chinese food. Christmas story, Bob. Brandy had us watch. A Christmas movie last night, the new Netflix one. What's wrong with your wife? I don't know. Shout out to StockX. StockX juice. Hold on. My voice is gone. Yesterday I did <clears throat> a lot of yelling. Holidays are not that chill for Teddy. This dude just tried to say he was gonna fight me. He said he's gonna pull up on me in New York. What are you talking yeah. about? Chances are your city fucks with me more than they fuck with you. Here's the thing, if you're so focused on pulling up on people, <laughs> you're missing something in life. I can't come over right now and work. I gotta pull up on someone this morning and be like, bro, we have money to make. Because people who don't get money, Fight. When you ain't getting money, you but for me it's all comedy. I get just a bag of laughs. I'm, like, ah. I'm not on my Takashi shit. Like obviously, <laughs> I'm just saying. People who talk about pull-ups usually shitting themselves when a the fight comes down. But there should just be always stop signs all across these fucking places. It's very dangerous. Now this this is another stop. They don't have to stop. And then if you go that way, it'll switch You're up. Very nervous. I got this, bro. I got my motherfucking stock X juice. Nothing can go wrong. Uh, knock on wood. Don't say that, please. I feel like you're cursed at us. Fucking Black Friday. When bro. you say it'll go wrong, it's gonna cut to fucking <laughs> something go wrong. I'm gonna laugh. Right? Right. Right? Yeah. Or left? Right, 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 yeah. right. Right, 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 right. Uh, I was gonna wear that shirt today to troll you too. Santa shirt. you trolling me. You be trolling yourself. Yeah, going that's out true. Public with a Santa shirt on on Black Friday. It's gonna fuck prom me. You wanna like fuck the little helper. It's not <laughs> be my guess. You wanna yeah. just take this shit to a new level yeah. and we'll get you a job as the Santa's helper for the fucking whole season? Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it, dog. I don't wanna do it. Let's go. I mean, it'd be pretty sick. Just saying. I love it. The clock place closed, the massage place open. It was easier to like just uh, you know switch the letter and erase the L. We service. <laughs> we just left the Black Friday special. Teddy I, fucking All right, in. so here is the deal. Usually we pay like two fifty for seven gram yep. for seven gram jars. So that means an ounce is a thousand dollars normal. Black Friday special, an ounce is seven hundred. You get credit for every five hundred you spend. So off top with that seven hundred, you're getting so that makes it six fifty plus you're halfway to another credit so you basically like 625 for an ounce live resin diamond from viola i don't have to buy wax for a week ever since we left purple haze the other day and this glass thing i've been obsessed with that one with the spinny ball bro that thing's fucking insane and that'll never come out there have been pieces that they made before where someone's been like cranked on it the marbles fly across the room that is a one out of a million scenario. yeah you really have to yeah, be trying yeah, you have to, yeah. an hour minimum to carve one ring around one of those little things you got 40 50 different pieces that's faceted like that the most expensive pipe we sold we sold for eighteen thousand. elbow made it. it took him like a month and a half to make so say he gets 90 percent done and it cracks yeah you gotta start, you gotta start all over again does what it wants uh, okay it's so yeah. like you dropping a paintbrush on the canvas you, you fucked up yeah, yeah. this it'll just crack and there's reasons why they crack. Yeah. There's reasons why they don't crack. There's some hype colors that, you know, you'll only ever see once or twice. Yeah. So some of these colors, like this color, uh, this color that you have right here is a very new color. The hype color. If we take it outside, mm -hmm. it turns more of that, like, that gold hue to yeah, it. Yeah, I see it changing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. This is all cold work. Each thing with a fucking drum. I never understood. I'd always see people have a pendant and I'd be like, what is the point? Do you dab with it or what? And they'd be like, no. And I thought it was just to have like yeah. something with you at all times. Like uh, an yeah. emergency dab tool. Right, right. That's right, all right, I ever right. thought it was. So they just do this just to get their rocks off. And in the lab today, I'm just going to build a pendant. Or because people ask for them, you know, if you yeah. have if you have a piece by this artist that costs, say, 10 bands, you get something right. to wear around your neck every for day. Oh, for okay. 10, right. 10 I got price, you. Okay. you know? Just so to you, show you kind of fuck with it. You can't just take this out and get I mean, you can take this out and get high wherever you want. Yeah. But, like, here, I can't you do wear that. wear that so. around your neck, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You hoop. could. Then you get people that just wear things like these. Just yeah. shit that blinks. Yeah, that's what's cool, though. People are just making, like, it's cool. Because the... Yeah, the making their own wearable art, but it's also like you have the commonality that everybody likes to smoke. Put things like diamonds and jewels and moon rocks. You're almost having like this silent conversation with the person mm -hmm. who made it. You smoke this much weed, you gotta believe in something. Something, something. Big, something. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. I mean, exploring something. Yes, I totally understand that. So they literally sit there and they draw all these patterns on the glass. On the back side like this, uh -huh. put color over the back. When you flip it over, 
Oh, cool. Bitch. I should just like collab with somebody. Dog, you you know what's funny is like a lot of people pick this shit up because uh -huh. they're good drawers. Or people that are good glass artists are like, yeah. well, I'm a good drawer too, but I've never never tried it. Yeah, I've never even thought about it, honestly. Similar style, like how it's the Seiko Geo with the drawing and everything. Super clean. He's the head poncho in that area and his pendants. I mean, if you can find one, 10 racks. That shit. Minimum. How much do you think a WJC piece costs now? Like 70 bands, 80 bands. Yeah, crazy. Sold before it's finished. 80,000. Yeah, I'll look into it, man. It seems cool. I mean, different technique for this, different technique for right. this, different technique for this. And you can use the same nail that you have. You can get one that's also a 45 degree. Another one. Kevin Shore? Yeah, yeah. I ordered one from him because he had like a Black Friday sale or whatever. And he also has those little cat things you can drop in here. You see those? Insert? Not insert. the insert, it's just a bead now. He made little, like, it's like Bigger a little than oval. These. Yeah, a little bit. It, yeah, it's metal. got the little cat inside of it. And you just drop it in. It's on his oh. website right now. They're 50 bucks. This is it. I see this where this is going. We're gonna have fucking ten glass pieces in the middle of next month. You're gonna, we'll be your best friends. What are you talking about, dog? I just needed a couple of things. I was sick last time I was here. I haven't even fully recovered. And you're on your second glass piece. It's true. He hasn't even hit the other one. Yet. Yeah. Banger's too hot to hold like here. That's too hot to die. Yeah. Meaning what is happening in the glass world? It's an expose. I'm kind of chilling, motherfucker. You need to spit the horrible let me know. Intro, I guess. You know, it's business network. Coming in right now. Hello and welcome to Boost News Network. Welcome back where we have news. Today is a special edition Black Friday. So we're gonna tell you about all the Black Friday deals. No, we're probably not. We're probably gonna We actually here at Boost News Network, we're not supposed to be cited on things, but we hate Black Friday. I'm gonna tell you why. It is just a ploy. We don't wanna take your money if you don't wanna spend it. We're happy when you choose us, but we're not trying to suck. Enough about Black Friday. Incoming, there's a Black Friday sale at Adidas. Most stuff is 50% off. You just need the coupon code, which is, it's already in there. You don't even need a coupon code. Spend some money. You wanna get Boost for your wife, go do it now. It's totally up to you. If you don't, I wouldn't. You don't have to be forced into this shit. If it works out for you like it did for Teddy today with the 28 grams of hash that he bought. Speaking of pushing, pushing the limits of how many times you can re-release something, the Jordan Concords re-released last week. What's different? They have a number 45 on them. Amazing. That's the number he had when nobody gave a shit anymore. Does he have a baseball shoe he's gonna put out? They did a baseball shoe. Oh shit. Waiting for the Bo Jacksons to re-release. Sounds like uh, this just in. We have a Carolina Panther, Carolina Tar Heels, Carolina Tar Heels shoe with patent leather for women and children only. What is this, the fucking Titanic? Sinking like the Titanic. Ooh, <laughs> it looks fake. You hear it squeaking on the way to a court date. Guy, you know people are gonna love these and, too, uh, man. No mustard on and nothing. I mean, I guess that is the good side. I'll tell you what we got that I'm looking forward to. New Yeezy 350 with the uh, 3M. The, the, the statics. Mm. They're getting closer and closer. Sesame is dropping in Winston. what? Sesame dropped. Today. Oh, today's the 23rd. Holy yeah. shit. Today. Get in that waiting room. It's I missed it. Let's take it back. And it sounds like the Sesame's drop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaking of Yeezys, we've just been notified that we're professionals. We've known for weeks this was coming out on the 23rd. I wasn't following along. I'm not reading my notes. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I missed the drop this morning. I took an L. Thank Thanksgiving. You. Shout out to Burgos for those L's. Um... <laughs> <coughs> Still a little sick. What's next? Um... Takashi 69 is in prison. Racketeering. No one knows what racketeering is. I mean, most of you people watching right now can't tell me in two sentences what racketeering is. You can. Organized crime. Organized crime. Now you know. But Takashi 69 is in jail. And for those of you who are happy about it, go fuck yourself. You should never be happy about anyone going to jail. Damn, I got deep. Wait, this just in. The Lady Liberties were dropped. The My Adidas custom Lady Liberties that were so hard to get in New York. All of a sudden, the other morning, appear on adidas.com. No one's sure how, why, what. All right, and we're back, folks. Now, the next thing on the news to handle today is the re-release many 1.0s. I don't think they're gonna be too difficult to they're get. Already they're, already they're already out. They're already out. They've, They've already been on sale, and then you can already get them from below retail on StockX. This just in, they're already out. They're Beloved Creams, they dropped yesterday. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they're sitting in full size runs, but I'm sure you can still get them. But they're different. Do they have continental sole? Yeah. So mine are still the original. The StockX off-white tag controversy. Let me just take a moment as there to continue with our coverage of Taggate. For those of you just joining us, if you've lived under a rock, 
Off-whites have tags. People are also rocking their stock X tags on shoes. What is the difference? Is there a difference? You're rocking a tag, does it matter what the brand is? Still rocking a tag that is meant to be taken off. If you add more tag, do you think it's okay to have one tag on? Is it okay to add more tag? Where do you draw the tag limit? Three tags or four? Or can tag every tag in your house and you put it on your shoe and rocked it out, would that be okay or is that going too far? Problem is there is no gray area. Where do you people draw the line? And if you're okay with rocking the off-white tag, please don't get mad at the guy who wants to floss that fucking Stock X tag. That beautiful Stock X, shout out to Stock X. Stock X tag. There is rumors that, oh, it's Teddy is becoming addicted to trolling. A lot of angry comments from people who don't know what's going on. So if you don't follow the entire inside joke, you're not following, you are the joke. If you're not following, you are the joke. Wow. This just in, something we can't tell you. Alright Erd, check it up here, we're high in the sky, it's not the 4th of July, but you're still my guy. I got people all over asking me, can we get the Jordan out of the car? The Jordans in the car? The joint? Not the Jordans in oh, the, the car. Joint. the joint. As you know, the 4D Alpha Edge now comes up to a size 14. Uh, a ZX, some number coming, I'm not sure. I'm not getting these shoes, not because I'm a hater, not because of anything other than these are mostly Alpha Bounce like, it's not what I'm looking for. I don't want a white upper that someone's gonna step on at Black Friday shopping and ruin the 350s. 1.0s, yes, they are sitting, but you know, they sat the first time. No one gave a fuck. People found out they were the most comfortable experience man can have. They stayed around. If those will go on sale. I would not pay full retail. 5.0 Ultra Boost is coming. People say they're sick of the Ultra Boost, so now it's coming with a completely different look. It's been thinned down. It seems like Adidas is going to give us a nice explanation, expose, portfolio, presentation, if you will, but it clicked to a dead link, so someone at Adidas dropped the ball on that one. Hopefully there's a story. It is titled, What We've learned or some shit I think I don't know what it's like a lot of the sample photos are booty but like everything I would just wait for a collab. Speaking of collabs, this year has been May, the end of the year for Consortium. There are a lot of great releases. Really, really nice stuff. Speaking of, can you see that? Speaking of the kin folk, I got a kin folk. Give me these kin folk. Shout out to my man James. Lots of questions. Lots of questions. I got some answers for you. I got some answers for some questions you didn't even fucking ask. Here's one. This is a 1.0 Ultra Boost. Why isn't it sold out? Because people ain't shit. That's why. They didn't really ever really like the 1.0 Ultra Boost. They liked the fact that they couldn't get it. Ladies, if you're out there and you want to get this guy, Tell them no. You got them. They can't get it. That's all they want. Point Ultra Boost with extra tooling. Basically 1.0 knit here. Doesn't have the same exact look. A little tighter, but it is nice. You got a two-tone blue. Two-tone blue. You got the blue pepper. Blue chip. Not the Shaquille O'Neal Nick Nolte blue chip. You got the hockey style laces. With a little bit of pink accents. A little pink peppered in. You know what I'm saying? Sort of hole punch. The pink punch. Pink punch. And the, I don't know what the first thing I said. We got Adidas, Adidas, we got Adi Adidas branding, Kinfo branding, no handshake until you get to the insole. Leather, 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 leather insole, suede, hits, boom, 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 suede, suede, suede. And then the back is 3M. Oh. Got a nice little 3M stripe right here. And then that hot pink jump off on the inside torsion system. Hot pink underneath the hood. Come with another nice bright pink set of laces. These fit true to size like any Ultra Boost, really. I guess I could half size down if I want to take the insole out, but I don't, so I didn't. That's, 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 that's the word. These are also on sale, because once again, people ain't Or people just have other things to buy right now. So, we all just kind of waiting for things to go on sale these days, because motherfuckers don't know the flavor anymore, so we all get more sauce. Yeah, that's the Kim Folk. You can still get them. They're fire blue, if you're wondering. Kim Folk is a place where you hang out in Brooklyn. It's a nice little hangout spot. They sell clothes, they sell snacks, they sell coffee, I believe. Curate other craftsmen, if you will. High quality clothing craftsmen. It's the high quality clothing craftsmen clan, oh, known shit. as Kinfolk. But yeah, they use this blue theme a lot. It's just, I don't know about the pink. I couldn't find anything on it. I think it's just contrasting. It looks cool. Bright pink is a little bright. It's super highlighter right here. I don't know what other color I would put in there either. You know? The only my nitpick of this, one thing I wish that they maybe would have done, I know why they didn't do it though, is the white stripes on the, or black boost. Black boost would have been fucking really industrial on that shit. People say the Ultra Boost is dead. At the end of this year, we got some nice stuff. The only thing that really fell flat to me was the undefeated Ultra Boost. Just don't really get the topographical map. I do appreciate that there's been a push for a more collector type, because obviously not everybody that gets these gets these just to run in. Speaking of appreciation, the time, 
It was 2000. It was 2016. It was a different time. This shoe right here, released in plum with no trail on it, with the exact same quality, and it sold for $7,000 right in front of my eyes. I watched someone pay it. I watched the person who sold that shoe because he was a child, his parent, come back to the sneaker con and look for the purchaser. He had not sold it for any minute, no. $12,000. You can buy an Acura for $12,000. Now we flash forward to 2018. The fakes have left. They've voyaged on to another land. A shoe that releases that is essentially the same, but I would argue maybe even better because I, the color contrast of the shoe is great. Nod to the solar pack. The fit on them is the same, I feel, as a regular. My point being is people just are waiting to be told things. Like, people are waiting to be told that this is not available before they freak out. I get that some people can't afford all this. I'm very blessed and fortunate to be able to collect these things. But the commentary on the internet is that these are dead, DR, or whatever. And that's fine. But they're no different than the plum pair. I can't. There's no other way to slice it. And so, these are a must fucking cop. These are amazing. I, there's nowhere I've been in this pair that people haven't snapped their fucking necks around. So, if it's a tension you're looking for in your fit, and people always struggle with the sizing, you're going to have some room in your toes there's nothing you can do about it get over it dog let them toes breathe you can size down if you want to but probably not if you got a big foot because you've got a big foot you probably got a wide foot if you got a wide foot this cage right here is going to dig into you like the girl at high school that you don't want you're gonna be everywhere every step you take pain in your motherfucking side you know what i'm saying teddy 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 you know what i'm saying this cage will punish you if you let it so you want a little advice. Here's my advice. I've given it before. When you get a shoe, no matter what the shoe, but especially the Pharrell. Take the laces out, put it on. Take a little step. Cage is still cutting into your foot. Ain't nothing gonna change that, dog. Cinderella. But you got four colorways. The Bahama Blackout. Oh. And then the white pair. Again, ah! Parade pack. They're amazing. Again, Pharrell's. Check back with you later. See you at the, uh, see you at the house. I got some new weed. Welcome to the sizing display with Dirty Earn, your sizing guru, your sizing tour guide. This is B. All right, so these are our current sweatshirts that we've been using uh, for the last few drops. They're a lightweight, I would say, springtime, summer, maybe a little bit of a breeze sweatshirt, but light. Now we're moving into <clears throat> a 400 GSM hoodie. That is a completely different. XL. Okay, yeah, so 400 GSM cotton. Uh, much heavier in weight, so this is definitely more of a winter hoodie. Because this might actually be a large, so now this is a large. Okay. I don't want to confuse people though. Do uh -huh. not be confused. It would be really bad to film a sizing video in the wrong size. Yeah, so <laughs> I got the right size t-shirt on. That That's cool, me. dog. You're no. feeling, you're feeling slender and you got the foot toe. Here's our XL normal Yeah, hoodie. very This loose. is our lightweight hoodie. Uh, the AI that's coming is on this, that we're shipping this week. See, this, it's like pulling it on, you're like, oh boy, this is a little slimmer. And it is, like the arms pull up a little more. It's a little slimmer of a fit, I feel like. But also, much, God, it feels great. It's game shit, like, it feels like a, like it's just, it's a nice fit, you know? Like, look at the thickness of these pockets. Metal aglets here, mm. shit's for real. Nice. So, so what size is that, XL? This is an XL as well. So mm -hmm. similar fit on the arms and everything. It's pretty close. It's just, just this tapers. It's more tapers fitted. a little more. Yeah. 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 These only go up to two XL. Well, we're gonna work, work out a yeah, little. We're, we're, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> we're working towards to get bigger sizes. We have to do our own like cut and sew. So it's gonna take. It's a project. We're trying to get there, guys. But yeah. right now we're about to break some dope ass motherfucking yeah. designs. Uh, some quality so, yeah, it does go shit. to 2x and it's not that slim i mean i wear x i can wear 2x or an extra large yeah i'm wearing true to size i'm just letting you know it's gonna feel a little bit different people that are nervous about that tight feel mm -hmm. maybe you want to size up mm -hmm. it's yeah. also pre-shrunk and it's solid t-shirts that we've been doing since uh the last three four drops since fan friends and family has begun this is what we've been printing on for our blank this that i'm wearing is an xl this is also an XL. Take note of the length of the sleeves, the fit, the looseness, because now, <laughs> here I am. A little more tapered on the sleeves, but other than that, man, this is soft. Yeah, it's like, <sighs> no joke. It's like a, man. You can wear that one home if you want, bud. No way. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, it feels good. It feels yeah. good. So color range is pretty limited, but you know, we're just gonna do what we can with Supima. Anything not Supima will be marked and noted and obviously these things are more expensive than we have been running, but this is just a all higher quality stuff. Let me call it together. These are, I was gonna say, these are an XL. I would probably size down to a large. Like, let me just, the waist, there's plenty of room. Wait a second. Start the fuck over. You said if these were a large. You said if these were a large, I would probably size down. They are a large. I mean, not if they are I a mean, large. Yes, <laughs> these are a large. What I'm trying to say here, these are big. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of waste space. There's a, you can size down. a lot of leg room. Like seriously though, there's very stretchy in here. <laughs> very big. So you could probably size down. And honestly, normally I wear a large, so to size down. I mean, I wear an XL, I would size down to a large. We're talking size down to medium here. So these are big. So the thing is, they only come in sizes extra small, small, medium, large, and XL, and that's it. But man, I feel like if you're a 3XL, you could probably fit in a pair of XLs of these. On this site, there's also the measurements for the legs and stuff, so you gotta measure yourself you do, or email us at oh.its.teddy.sales at gmail, and I'll try and help you walk through it if you got any questions. I'll send you a personalized sizing video. Yeah, personalized sizing video. Nice, but they taper off at the bottom, too. They'll have things on them, don't yeah. worry. We're waiting. Yeah. Just wanted to give you the sizing. Geek Clay Prince, coming soon too. Coming with the drop. Give him a piece one time. Peace. <laughs>